Oh man, that's not gonna do. about grocery shopping in Vietnam. This video is to show you guys where to buy your groceries, what you can expect when grocery shopping, and I'll show you some items and prices you might see. This information may vary based on where you are in Vietnam and what stores and shops you might go to, but this is just to give you a general idea of what to expect when grocery shopping in Vietnam. There are several places I like to go to get my groceries, but the place I go to most is Vinmart, and that is just because it's the closest to me. It's in the basement of the Vincom shopping mall, right next door, and I can get pretty much everything I need there. However, I noticed that certain things are sometimes a little bit more expensive, but I buy them anyways just because of the convenience. Now if I have a lot of fruit and vegetables to buy that day, I will usually go down the street to the little shops and vendors because they have a great selection, the fruit and vegetables are always fresh, and they always give you a really fair price. Big C and Mega Mart is where I'll go if I need to do some hardcore shopping. Now they literally have everything. It's usually where I'll go if I need to buy home supplies like a bath mat, hangers, or like a frying pan. I notice that the prices are actually a lot cheaper than Minmart. Sometimes if you aren't near a grocery store and you just need to pick up a few things, little mini marts like Circle K, Family Mart, or 7-Eleven surprisingly have a lot of things that you could need. you really need or miss from home, you can probably find it at an import store. We have a lot of these around here in Taoyuan. However, the prices are going to be significantly higher than what you would pay for back at home. around the Vinmark grocery store and give you guys some prices of some of the items you might see. Apples are $2.16 per kg. Dragon fruit is $2.42 per kg. It's only $0.44 cents for a basic loaf of bread. You can get nicer stuff if you go to a bakery. Cheese can range anywhere between $2 to $3 per 100 grams. Really depends on the type of cheese you get. Ice cream is around $3 per tub. Milk is $1.67 per carton. Cereal is about $2 to $3 for a small box of cereal. Salmon is $22 per kg, so I don't buy that often. Chicken, on the other hand, is very cheap, only $2 to $3 per kg. Pasta sauce is $3 to $5, depending on what you get. There is a good selection of imported and local alcohol. Obviously, the imported alcohol will be a little bit more expensive than what you're used to back home. So one of the main differences I notice with grocery shopping in Vietnam is there's not as much ready and prepped food as in America. So you can't just buy a frozen lasagna and have it ready in five minutes. And you can't buy like washed and cut lettuce and just throw it into your salad. So that kind of sucks for me because I'm lazy. But if it kind of forces you to make your own food, which is healthier anyways. And if you can't do that, then 
ordering food is really cheap. Another difference I noticed is that sometimes there's not much variety, but it also depends on what you're looking for. If it's vegetable oil or fish sauce, then they've got you covered, but if it's cheese or cereal, then it might be a little harder to find exactly what you're looking for, but it's okay because sometimes variety is overwhelming, and I'm actually pretty happy with the selection that you can find in Vietnam. One other thing I almost forgot to mention is that if you are gluten-free or vegan or you only eat organic food, that might be a little harder to find. I personally have not seen it, but then again, I am not looking for it. So um, I'm sure that if you actually look for it and you do some research, you will be able to find the certain products that you need. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I know I didn't cover everything, but I hope this gives you some sort of insight of what it's like to grocery shop in Vietnam. If you have a question, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.